show um, my cards that I have made. Um, so I wanted to show you that this was one of the first ones that I ever made. You can definitely tell it's it's rough. It's not the greatest, but you know, for just teaching myself card making, um, I didn't think it was too too bad. Um, learning how to stamp and all that stuff. So um, I just kept that one. It's kind of falling apart. Here is, I don't have my second one. I had made that for my mother-in-law. But here's my third one that I made. I didn't think it turned out as bad. I really like using um, the medium that um, allows it to kind of have that glossy, the glossy accents. That's the word I'm looking for. And of course, you can never have too much bling. And it's kind of shiny from the Wink of Stella. And then here's one of my other cards that I did, I was, um, I had seen a project on YouTube where they had used the, uh, the clear, um, cardstock, and, um, I had tried to heat emboss on this, and it really warped it pretty bad, it didn't look very good at all, so, um, I'm learning that, uh, you have to use special type for that. But this still turned out pretty cute. It kind of has that three-dimensional look. Uh, this is the outside of it. And then here's the inside. Learning with the Distress Inks there. And then, let's see here. Um, let me show you my shaker cards I did. This was my first ever shaker card. <laughs> it's kind of rough, you know, learning the skills of that. And then here's my most recent shaker card, which I think is a vast improvement um, on what I did. And I love Lawn Fawn. I just can't get enough of the Lawn Fawn. I think they're just absolutely adorable, all of their stamps. I love their dies. And this is something um, that I enjoy do using was um, using the um, sticky embossing powder and um, putting it on, you know, stamping it on and then adding the gold leaf. Um, this was the uh, variegated rose gold and I loved how that turned out. And then I used my dye and did the same process, but I did it with the birdcage and hiding inside there, you can see it's a little bird with its nest. And I thought this turned out pretty good. And then I put the roses and the little birdie. And the back of it is the embossed um, plate uh, with the bird cages. And then I just used a uh, gold pen to kind of add a little bit of dimension to it. I was pretty happy with that one. And then all the markers that I use for my cards are uh, Spectrum Noir. Just, uh, I love them. They're very affordable. Here is a card that I done uh, for a, um, a contest. And um, I, I kind of like it. This was the first um, girl that I had done learning on my hair skills. You could tell it was kind of... Uh, rough there, but not too bad. I I don't think. All right, several people said they liked it, so it's all about the coffee there. You can never have too much coffee. And here's another one that I had done for um, a contest. I thought she was a really cute digi stamp, just all about butterflies. It reminds me of one of my little girls, what she would dress up in when she was itty bitty. So. Thought that one was pretty cute and then this is one of the last digi uh, stamp contests that I had done um, she had the flowers in her hair and I hand cut them out and just pasted them back on there and added pearls and of course you can kind of see a little bit of shimmer in her hair um, I l love using Wink Estella um, I think it just adds something to a project. So you see all the shine and glitter there um, is Wink Estella. 
And then this one I thought was a really cute project. This was a stamp by itself that I um, um, did watercoloring technique with, getting comfortable with watercolors. And then I cut that all out. And then inside is hiding her little puppy. I thought that was cute. I made this for a friend who I haven't given it to yet. You can hear my noisy dog in the background. I apologize for that. And then here was my first um, ever really more intricate dies and just experimenting a little bit with um, different dies and things like that. And then using the Spectrum Noir markers to color the little pearls they really as you can tell give a very nice i don't know if you can get get in there um coloring to just plain white pearls i was very pleased with that and then i used the dimension um accents on there to give that hello a little bit of a shine and dimension and then this i colored in with the um, spectrum markers. I'm trying to zoom in. Sorry, my camera's not the best here. Sorry about the quality. I'm teaching myself how to <laughs> do, do this, so I apologize for that. And then a couple of my other lawn fawns that I had done was the Tanku, or I just talk like my little nephew there. Tanku! That's what he always says to me, and it just kind of reminded me of him. So I thought this one was really cute, and I used the glossy accents again with the bubbles to give it more dimension. I thought that was really cute. So I thought that turned out pretty well. And then the best fishes. I made this for a friend as well. And I added a little more of the glossy accents, and of course the Wink of Stella. And of course I used the Spectrum Noir markers. And then I was experimenting with watercolors again and um, just basic watercolors and did that with it. And then of course lawn fawn. You can never have too much lawn fawn if you ask me. And I thought that turned out pretty cute. And then getting comfortable with um, Ken Oliver's Color Burst. Um, this was my first real attempt trying to use his color burst, so um, tell me what you think. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, like I said, I'm still learning different techniques on card making, so um, be kind. Uh, like I said, I'm um, um, just learning, So, but the colors on this, I don't know if you can pick up. They're very, very bright uh, and vibrant. I was very pleased with um, how it turned out, and I really uh, like um, Ken Oliver's um, Color Burst products. I'm waiting for um, his new line to come out, the Color Burst. I'm sure they're just going to be just as beautiful. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. Um, if there's one that maybe you'd like to see um, me make, um, leave a comment down below, and I will make you a video. Thanks. Happy crafting.